Hello everyone, welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today we're going to talk about the C8 Corvette and its direct competition that just got announced yesterday. Before we get started though, I wanted to show you guys the actual itinerary for the Corvette C8 reveal date. As we all know, it's July 18th, 2019, but now we know exactly what times, what will be happening. This actually came out to someone's email and they were gracious enough to share it with the CorvetteBlogger.com. And it shows that at eight o'clock PM, we will get to see the new C8. So it looks like it's gonna be about a four hour event and it's gonna save the best thing for last. All right, guys, so the car I'm referring to getting announced yesterday was the new Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 and the 718 Boxster Spider. I'm not really a huge fan of a lot of the Porsche lineup, aside from the GT2 RS and the GT3 RS, of course, but I'll be honest, this new car looks pretty cool and it has some really good performance as well. It's definitely looking like it's gonna be a direct competitor to C8 mid-engine Corvette when it comes out. So this is definitely one you wanna keep your eye on. It's rocking a six cylinder engine that is loosely based on the flat six from the 911 Carrera and will have approximately 414 horsepower, which will allow it to hit 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds and hit top speeds of 188 miles per hour, all while weighing in at 3,100 pounds. The best part, both models will have a manual transmission. Yep, you heard me right. Manual transmissions in 2019. Unbelievable. Never did I imagine we'd be living in an age where Corvette has gone automatic only, but Porsche is giving the fans what they want. It's truly amazing. I can't wait to see this car. 
While 3,100 pounds isn't the heaviest car I've ever seen, it's certainly not the lightest either. It's almost a 200 pound gain over the previous Porsche models, but a lot of the added weight is for things like an automatic start-stop system, which requires an addition of a bigger starter and bigger battery, as well as some other amenities that really start to add weight. Some of the biggest things helping this particular Porsche model achieve major aerodynamic advancements are things like large underbody diffuser that actually makes 50% more downforce than the previous generation GT4s, some new lightweight 20 inch alloy wheels that have of course, the latest Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, which measure 245-35 up front, 295-30 in the rear, and also the suspension that includes active dampers and the ride heights for the GT4 and Spider are about 30 millimeters lower than any other 718 model. All of these things help make sure that that car stays as planted and as flat in the turns as possible, thus giving it a huge edge on the track. Now the Spider is gonna cost about $96,000 while the GT4 will start out at about $99,000, which of course will put this car right around the speculated cost of the C8 Corvette after some options. Chevy has been chasing the performance of a Porsche with their Corvettes for a long time now, so this isn't necessarily unexpected, but at the same time, competition breeds innovation, so I'm all for it. Like I said, I'm not a huge Porsche fan, but honestly, this car is looking really good. It looks a lot like a GT2 RS or even the GT3 RS, and in my opinion, that is the best style to go for. The fact that you can get this car in a manual transmission is really gonna push a lot of people over to Porsche if Chevy doesn't include it in the C8 Corvette as well. Now at least all of us manual guys have somewhere to go if the Corvette comes out and doesn't give us exactly what we want. I've been pushing for a manual transmission in the C8 Corvette for a long time, and honestly, the more I read about it, the more I realize it's not happening. So I love to see brand new cars like this coming out with a manual transmission option because it's just not the way things are happening nowadays. So to see an auto manufacturer really listening to the fans, it's great. Now, of course, there's a lot more information about the new GT4 out there, and I will post a link to the motor1.com article that I got a lot of this information from. The new 718 Cayman GT4 and the 718 Spider are both available for order right now, which tells me the car will be coming out probably right around the same time the C8 Corvette comes out. Again, just kind of confirming they are supposed to be direct competitors. As much as a $90,000 starting price is far from cheap, as far as getting a Porsche for that price with the performance that this car is supposed to have, that is on the cheaper end. And honestly, with the C8 Corvette being completely optioned out, odds are good you're gonna be very close to that price as well. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the Porsche information. I wanted to also share a couple new renderings of the C8 Corvette as well. There has been also some new test mules spotted in the wild, so I'm gonna leave you with the renderings and the videos. If you could, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it, guys. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.